And this is the black badge. This is the top shelf, right? You've spruced up, in this case, the Ghost. Right. I drove one of these two years ago. What's the difference between what I drove and what we have right here? I mean, what you drove recently is also a remarkable motor car, of course, but this one is, I would call it even better in a way, yeah. because it is very much purpose made for self-drivers as you are, Brian. Yeah? <laughs> so what we have done here is we increased horsepower, we increased torque onto even higher levels. We have completely changed the suspension settings. The whole driving is different and the car is massively more active. And yeah? the front of the car is actually... And the, yeah, but that is, of course, that is uh, what I would call the whole cosmetics or the design features around the car. You might notice that we have even bathed our spirit of ecstasy in dark chrome, uh, which is lovely. She is now riding through the night as a dark vamp. And uh, we've also inverted the logo, which now sits silver RRs on black, which is also completely new. And it is all what I would call a more assertive, darker kind of character for Rolls Royce. All right, yeah. enough of the ghost. I was driving the Wraith, which is over here. This is the, the two door. That's gonna be, but, but before we get, I'm guessing you don't call these the hubcaps over here, because in the interest of, of transparency, we like transparency at Bloomberg, I have to reveal that the last time I drove your car on Finsbury Square, I did ding this. Ah, I remember that. Yes, yeah, yeah. And th this is not a hubcap. What is this called right here? No, this is the self-centering wheel hub. Ah. And the reason exactly why is that we want, even if this wheel is spinning and turning, you always see the Rolls-Royce logo in perfect shape. Ah. So it stays where it is, even if the wheel is constantly is on full speed. So I heard you're going to start making cars in, in aluminum, right? Which, we do, yeah. yeah which, which, which I thought would be novel. I, I would have completely destroyed your self-centering I mean, these these, these uh, wheels are now carbon wheels even, ah. so probably even more robust. <laughs> and Brian, try them again, yeah. Let's go inside. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, good. We're going to check out the, uh, the car itself here. Make sure I don't break anything as I get in. I've done this before. You remember I drove one around Finsbury Square, guy. Here we are. So this looks a little bit different than uh, what I was driving. You still got the stars up here on the right. top, which is very nice. But this is a little bit different. Now, I was expecting to see a dashboard with a lot of, you know, wood, maybe some teak. Yeah, this is very different. This was done by our craftspeople in the wood shop. This is air-graded aluminum woven into carbon. Ah. And that is extremely complicated uh, kind of thing that takes probably one week to really manufacture one of these lovely wood sets here in the car, yeah? For the first time, yeah? Now, let's talk Turkey for a second. One thing that's going on right now is you've got equity markets tanking. What does that mean for you know the high-end people that buy your cars? Last year, you saw a little decline in car sales. What do you expect this year? I mean, last year, we have seen our second best ever result, don't yeah. forget. And I, and I would say, Brian, that the whole world is not in doom and gloom. Yes, you see some markets contracting, you're right. But you also see year by year a remarkable amount of new people who are ultra high net worth individuals coming into the market. Our prognosis is that this is probably in an area between 3 and 5%, which is remarkable. So for that reason, there is enough substance and potential also in the market in future. Even if some markets might falter or would have problems, I think we will see also other markets still booming. Korea, for instance, is a great market for us. I think the United States is still in very good shape. And Europe is coming back on stream, so it's not that the whole world is falling apart. Uh, the word is you're right. the word is you're talking on a uh, you're, you're working on an all-terrain vehicle. Give us some detail on that. I mean, yeah, we have confirmed that last year. Finally, also for a very good reason to say, if we do it, we bring a Rolls Royce of SUVs uh, <laughs> into the market and watch this space. Yeah. This will be a remarkable. 2018. Car. Probably in that in that kind of uh, time window, let's say it like that. That car also sits on the new aluminium space frame architecture we have recently announced, and is one of the remarkable projects. And an electric Rolls Royce. What are we going to see that? We are working on it. I would call it alternative drivetrains, Brian. So yeah. to think about what is in the future, what might happen, and uh, we are not yet fully decided, but rest assured this will also come into the brand. All right, Torsten, we're gonna leave it there. That, of course, was the, the boss here at Rolls-Royce. He's a little bit safer because I can't drive this car because you can't drive any of the cars inside of the car. You're show. more than happy to yeah, 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 let... drive again. Uh, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a spin the next time.